Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing and actually setting up this NVMe SSD, which I got from Western Digital Black, which is called the SN770. This is an NVMe SSD. This has one terabyte and it's a Gen 4 drive. It has up to 5,150 read and also up to 4,900 write speed. So this is all in megabytes. And I just want to show you guys that I purchased this from Canon Computers for 110 Canadian dollars before taxes. So now we're going to go ahead and install this SSD on our computer. Here's a closer look of our M.2 SSD. All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do before, so you're going to take a look. So right now with my computer, so the goal is to try and install the M.2. Now, the problem is that it's a little hard to see, but there's a screw right here. This you're going to want to remove. This is actually, I believe it's for like smaller M.2s. So because the one I have, it, it goes like it's way longer. It goes over it. Um, the best thing to do is you can just go ahead and remove it. So I just use a screwdriver and then take my hand and just kind of manually like unscrew it. So take that out and you're going to go ahead, take your M.2, go ahead and slot it inside. So just gently push it in a little bit, give it a little bit of pressure. That's it. Once it's in, then you can go ahead and press down on it and put your screw into the motherboard and go ahead and tighten it. Try that again. So I'm gonna go ahead, just put kind of place it there, and then use the screwdriver to hold the screw down and then just tighten it in. Just want it tight enough so that it doesn't come loose. So once you finish, this is what it should look like, which is similar to what I have up here with my other SN770 drive. So here we go, we have our second drive installed. So let's go ahead and do the Windows side of it and partition the drives. So I'm just booting up my computer right now and I just want to mention that I since I had this already like I already have one M.2 and I installed the new one it just took a second for it to boot so there was like a little bit of a white line going on um so now so you're probably wondering oh I can just go to this PC but if you go ahead and just look at your drives you'll see that the new one has not shown up yet and this is where you have to actually go and partition the drive so you can go ahead and just type in so at the bottom left corner like where you have your search bar just type in partition and you should see like so just type in partition and you can see initialize a disk so just go ahead click that and then you can do so you can see first of all so we actually have it picked up right here this is a windows way of doing it you can initialize it or you can do create and format hard disk partitions that's another way i usually do it this way so you'll want to go ahead and just you can do gpt but it's not recognized you can also do mbr We'll do MBR for this case. So as you can see here, like it, it's been partitioned already, but you could do, do it through Windows 11 now, which is a new feature, but I usually do it through this method just because I prefer it this way. So right now it's not showing up. I just gotta, it's, it's here, it's just at the bottom. So you'll see here, it says disk two basic. It has basically a terabyte. And it says unallocated. So just right click, new simple volume, click next. So just leave this, do not touch this. I mean, unless you want to partition it to like a different size. But if you want to just do like the full one terabyte, just leave it as it. This will say the maximum. Leave it as that. Click next. You can assign it a letter. Realistically, it doesn't matter uh, what you assign it. Just, yeah. I'm just going to put Z, but it does not matter you can put any of the letter it doesn't really mean anything it's just a way of identifying which drive you're using click next um, you can change the file system which is like the format of the drive but I believe NTFS is usually okay that's what I've been using for my other drives too but you could also do XFAT depending on what your needs are but N NTFS should be okay just do default everything's okay perform quick format just click next finish 
So as you can see here, it just turned blue. So it says new volume and it says healthy. So that basically means everything is done. If you go back to the um, Windows 11 way, it should show up here as online healthy. It says new volume Z. So this is the partition we created. So if you go back to Windows File Manager, it says local disk, C, uh, we have my Seagate drive, and then we have the new volume. So we have the full amount, 931 gigabytes, and that is how you partition the drive. So for example, if I wanna put a file in, let's put my cover letter in, there you go, bam. And now you can store stuff. Um, so what I also like to do as well is, for example, when you're trying to partition, the, um, this is basically on the video, but what I wanted to also explain is like, for example, if you want to set like your downloads to go to that drive, just uh, go to properties, you'll see location, and then you're going to have to do this for desktop documents, pictures and stuff, but to set it onto a secondary drive, you just have to go ahead and go to locate properties, location, and just click, you can click move. So then you can go ahead, click uh, this PC, and then just select the hard drive. I have it set to my secondary hard drive. I actually have a third hard drive in here now. But yeah, you can go ahead and do that and uh, just choose a location and just put all your files from Windows into your secondary drive instead of your like primary. So that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If this helped, please leave a like, and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Peace out and take care.